Hey guys, I have finished my Bjorn Stormwolf this time and uh, he's going to be my wolf lord for my company and uh, here you have him. Um, he, I made him out of the normal Wolfguard Terminator pack as I said and as I have said before uh, and um, there were kind of fitting bits there that I want uh, that I just thought would be perfect for Bjorn Stormwolf and uh, the icy rock is made out of a fo foam bit that I have sculpted that I have cutted and done some stuff and painted with a different kind of ice blue and washed it with um, some uh, what's his name Draken of Nightshade and dry brushed it with ice blue again and then I dry brushed it with some skull white and then I used a gloss varnish on it. It is going to be some snow on this guy later on too which I am going to make out of baking soda so that will be on later. Uh, I made his um, hair red because uh, in the book they uh, explain him as a red faced giant mm, I guess they mean that he has kind of blushy uh, face or something that's a little bit reddish but I have always seen him as he has some crazy red hair and uh, uh, mustache or beard or something uh, and I uh, found out this whoops <laughs> I found this uh, had to be kind of perfect for him, so I used that. And uh, let's see if we can get some focus again. Uh, and uh, the thunder hammer, uh, I made it uh, crackle with lightning and energy. If we can get some better focus on that, you can see yes, you can see the wolf sign there and some runes and some crackling, li crackling lightning there which I'm quite happy with uh, as you can see and the glowing wolf there and some energy going through the cords there and there is his mark for his uh, wolf guard pack and for him because they are protecting him so I thought that they would have the same marking on the shoulder and uh, he are wearing a wolf pelt, uh, a pelt up there and a coat which is grayish white because I didn't want to make it brown uh, the coat brown because I thought that I was going to make the fur in that color and uh, I didn't want to make it red either because uh, I have painted ultramarines uh, captains with red coat so I wanted to do something different and uh, I I'm quite happy with the result, uh, and uh, the shield is made of bronze and metal colors, as you can see, and some bone. And uh, oops, again. So I am quite happy how he turned out to be, and. Uh, uh, tell me what you think, guys. Uh, think he's a worthy model to be a leader and <laughs> I think uh, he looks kind of good, he looks kind of elevated on a rock and so on so he looks a little bit more special and the coat makes him very big look uh, even bigger than he are uh, and uh, I hope that you like this and uh, the next thing I am going to do is I am going to return to make Chaos Dwarfs Yes, it will be awesome. I have ordered uh, a package of uh, Infernal Guard uh, with Fire Glaives this time, so that is going to be interesting. And uh, a pack of with the Demons Myths, uh, with the de three Demons Myths actually, so uh, it is going to be very fun to see how they look like and I am going to make an unpacking for that uh, later on. If I am lucky I will get the Chaos Dwarves tomorrow uh, but I believe almost that it will come sometimes next week but if I am really lucky I will get them tomorrow. So let's just hope for that guys and uh, uh, keep on watching my videos and uh, Tell me what you think, subscribe and like and all that stuff and 
uh, thank you really much for your watching and uh, keep on looking for my videos because there are going to come up some awesome Chaos Dwarf stuff uh, later on soon so thanks again for watching and uh, have a good one